The Atlantic Division right now is by far the strongest division in the NHL. We have, you know, two top teams, essentially. And then there's us, who is uh, better than every other second-place team. So you're sitting in third. I mean, it's definitely, definitely a strong division here. And while we haven't been that good, I'm not too sure if uh, there's any sort of change that we should make for our team. But welcome back, guys. Hopefully, I'll get back to a normal uploading schedule here soon. It's been wild again. Still claims adjusters I got to talk to, police, etc. So forth. It's been pretty nuts here. But uh, we're back once again. Hopefully, we'll be able to get back to the daily uploads and stuff like that. So hit that like button, of course, as we try to kind of figure out what the heck we're going to do here. We're going to go back to these lines as we were thinking about doing. We slipped a little bit in the month of December. Then we changed things up and... Yeah, we kind of have been sort of the same way ever since. And these were the lines in the very, very beginning, which we were absolutely dominant with. So, kind of want to try that out again. And as for potential trades, honestly, I cannot think of what to do. And I kind of almost don't want to do anything. It's, we've, we've really loaded up at the deadline almost every single year. Always kind of to the same result. Not that that's like, maybe, but I don't know, maybe... Maybe we should trust this team here, even though we're not doing extraordinarily good. Go back to these lines. Again, all we got to do is make the playoffs. We got to, you know, make it happen from there. We need say, we need it all to come together. And I don't know if it's ever felt like we were one piece away. You know, it's always felt like, oh, one of our things that usually does something does another thing. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we're to that point, you know, in 27. I mean, we're, was this year five now? I believe. Yeah. Um. I know I got some suggestions like trade Sam Sonov, trade Byfield. We don't have to do any of that, um, at least yet. Like I mean, those I'm not counting those options out. Um, I'm, I don't know. Trading Byfield immediately kind of seems wild. He's yeah, he's pretty much having a shit year right now. But had a great year last year. So again, who the hell knows why he's decided to completely slump off here? But is his contract here? He's RFA though, so we do not have to move him at the deadline or anything like that like we have all the control in the world on byfield there's uh yeah i'm not gonna worry about any of that as for sam so i'm pretty sure he's got an extra year after this no no this is oh yeah we extended him so fucking anytime we can trade sam so anytime we want really that's a movable deal so we don't have to do any of that right now and nor would i make a major move like that i don't think right here at the deadline For us, we just kind of need everything to come together. So I think, I don't know, I'll take a couple looks at some stuff here. But again, I, oops, I thought I was just going to go to Adeline's right there. I don't know, man. I think we leave it. I think a new coach is definitely honestly. I would do. I would try a new coach before I blew things up. Unfortunately, there hasn't been a great one with a completely different system. But honestly, that's what I would try before blowing things up is a new coach because we've had the same coach the whole time. Same coach the whole time. That's what I would do maybe before completely exploding things. And honestly, I look at these lines. I'm like, man, I don't want to touch them. I feel like if we have that right combination, we have flexibility in the playoffs too. But this is a team that can win a cup. 100%. And if they don't, we try coach. And if again, like, or maybe, maybe we're like, you know what? We're just, oops. We'll blow things up. Like, maybe it's time. Matthews 29, Elander 30, Marner's 29. But for right now, we're going to leave things as they were at the deadline. We're taking another look at progress reports. I don't know if I did this at the end of the last video. Um, but Parablin has grown like a weed. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Pearson has grown a decent chunk there. Uh, Desjardins, nah. Uh, Lutinen is looking real good. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty much NHL ready. He could slot it. Oh, man, that defense. Yeah. Yanni Lutinen is uh, like 100% NHL ready at this point. Some other stuff not growing. But again, we don't have a ton of prospects. We keep... Uh, Keep moving them and stuff like that. Also, give a look at the uh, the possible draft class coming up. But again, I don't remember if I did this or not, but we're going to do it again. We have a power forward steal. 
a couple of goaltenders now. Again, that's it. Uh, power forward elite steel looking around uh, 60. Five year ETA at 60. This is not going to be that strong of a draft. We got one low elite. So not going to be the super uh, strong draft, I don't think. It was a top six at 60. Let's see about top fours here. Yeah, just the one at 50 something. Yeah. So. Not looking like the greatest, but that's okay. Again, trade value we've been mostly trading for. A full-on rebuild at this, at this point is just pretty much out of the question. Uh, we're just too deep in this. So we're committed to when we do blow it up, we kind of blow it up and <laughs> get like guys who might be younger but are still like ready. I don't know. Anyway, we're, we're going to do something that we haven't done yet, and we're going to trust the team and hope that these lines, this combination is is what they need to do. So we'll see what happens. I'm not saying I love this idea, but I, we're kind of been running out of ideas. So let's just keep keep the band together here. Um, yeah, just continue simming here. See if any major trades happen around the uh, league here. Oh, I thought that uh, Pollock goes to New Jersey with a couple thirds for uh, Sharon Govich, uh, Costin and Butcher. To Detroit very first in Semenov. Not too shabby. And that guy's on waivers. And that should do it. Alright, come on, guys. Okay, a few good wins here. Uh do some scouting real quick. Alright, continuing on here. For the most part, wins. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. And honestly, yeah. I should not have given up on these combinations when I did quite clearly. Because holy shit, are we kicking ass? We may even hit 50. Yeah, we should. Oh, we hit 50. Alright, well, we lost to Boston a couple times at the end of the year. And that's who we're playing. They shut us out once. And then beat us 4-1 to one on the second part of back-to-back. -back, but we had a great end of the season. Fantastic. I think we only lost like four times total. I'm going to check that. Because I'm pretty sure that's just that's what just happened. We lost like four times total. So once to Boston. Once to Tampa. Yeah, one in OT. Yeah, we lost four times of those last five, eight. Uh, to Chicago is 11. Uh, 15. 20. Only lost four of 20. Yep. Solid. Very, very solid end of the season. Locker room chemistry still only at 76%, but let's see how much this ch had, uh, changed our, yeah, goals against went down. That was hovering around like 2.8, I believe. Uh, goals four went up, I think, slightly, or maybe it stayed around the same. Power play, 22.5, penalty kill. Uh, we actually got into second in the division, which is also, we were 10 points behind Boston, I think. Something ridiculous. Yeah, we that was a crazy end of the season. So, wow, look at how many top teams there were. We were fifth in the NHL with 110 points. Wow. All right, offensively, we should be like third. Yeah, third behind Carolina and Anaheim, but we have better defense than both of them. Uh, oof, we were so close to having the best defense, but New York by .01. But very close. Very close. Power play-wise, third best. Penalty kill, we're not going to be clear. Yeah, the bottom half, which isn't great. So, Austin Matthews with 88 points, 53 goals. Marner, 74 points, 52 assists. Nylander, 72 points. Leonov, 68. Byfield, 64. Rosovic, 55. Bunting. Then Perfetti. I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, 42 points for Robertson. At least he got 20 goals, I guess. But Perfetti, oof. Uh, not bad. Defensively, 48 points for Riley. Didn't hit 50. That's a bit... Nah, doesn't really matter. Great plus minuses all the way across the board here. Samsonov, not bad, man. I can't... What the fuck? Gustafson was horrible. He has not been the strongest backup. I don't really care, though, because we have him on insane deals, and I think he's gonna, I think he's incredible when he steps in the playoffs. And I mean, we've only got a small sample size of that, but he has been, and that price tag is... I don't care. I'll lose a few more games in the regular season if it means having that insurance policy in the playoffs, honestly. I could, I could care less. So, yeah. 
Again, not the greatest. But I feel like the pieces are there. 110 points for McDavid. Finally on top of the uh, league scoring. There he is. Beating Ajo by one point. Who had five less games played. So Ajo might, may even take home the hardware. But we do base it on points. Uh, goals. Ooh, Svechnikov beats out Austin Matthews with 55. Austin with 53. Bushnevich had the most assists with 76. Let's see who's the most clutch here. Uh, definitely Misa. Misa Jar Jar Banks with, uh, yeah, nine game winners. Power play goal leader was Ajo with 19. Also with the power play point lead with 35. Shorties went to, damn, dude, Carolina's just everywhere. Hayton, Shorty points, uh, Tessier. Uh, God damn it, O'Reilly, go away. O'Reilly up there, probably going to win it. <laughs> O'Reilly's looking like the Selkie guy. Couturier just probably not enough face-offs and stuff. Yeah, I'm not even going to It's just O'Reilly again, isn't it? Uh, Pionk! Neil Pionk! Going to be taking home the Norris. I like it. The Norris has been very diverse in this. Neil fucking Pionk. 76 points plus 31. 100% taking home that Norris. All right. Ever, rip everyone's predictions, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Who's, who's going to... Vasilevsky. Okay, okay. At least that might... At least some people might have guessed Vasi. 917 and a 255. Again, Samsonov there is in second. So while his numbers didn't look as good, he's amongst the fucking top. I don't know why I would trade this guy. <laughs> He does this. He's been sure 50% in the playoffs. But again, we've never had all things clicking at any point. Like Sometimes the offense has failed too. I don't know, man. I really, I I feel good with Sam Sonoff. If he, I don't know if he fucks up again this year horribly. Maybe I'll feel less good, but. He's been what? Top five every single fucking season goaltending? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sick. All right, good job. And let's check out the fun stats now. Oh, I didn't look at rookies. Yeah, that's goalies again. Rookies. Uh, Novikov was 67 points. And Baston, no goalie is going to be. And there's, and there's a guy with Shevelev. Nice backup performance. Really, really good backup performance. But that's it. Nothing else crazy out there. 206 hits for Marco Rossi, of all people. Fights, Tom Wilson with four, Pavel Simonov. Yeah, they definitely fixed that two-way thing, didn't they? Or maybe we're not deep enough, but it definitely feels like they did, which is good. They actually fixed something. So no more crazy out there fighting stuff. Okay, playoffs, Nashville and Winnipeg. The Avs in Chicago, Oilers, Vancouver, Ducks, Kraken. And then Columbus, New York, uh, Carolina, Detroit, us in Boston and Tampa and Florida. So, uh, yeah, our road's not going to be easy, but I don't give a, f like, we have to beat these teams. You got to beat all the teams. <laughs> it's got to be done, right? You got to be able to beat these guys. So we've got, we've got our lineups. We have home ice advantage. Just barely. I think we beat them by like one point. Let's see what Boston has for us. Marshawn, Novikov, Pasternak, Druan, Strom, Kapanen, Bleed, Borgstrom, Trubchenko. I mean, what the fuck? Taylor Hall on the fourth line. Dude, AI management's so bad. Um, <laughs> decent defensive core until this guy, but that won't matter. We know how that works. And then Swayman's been lights out every single time. So definitely have our work cut out for us. Jesus. I got an 82 sitting. Why not put him in for fucking bleed? Like, so they're both grinders. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. Why'd I think Mason Marchment was a grinder? Anyway, power forward. Who was I thinking of? Hmm. Who just went to Dallas? Wasn't that Mason Marchment? He may, he maybe he was a grinder in the, in last season. They changed him. Anywho, uh, all right. Well, that's the thing. Uh, okay. Compare him to us. I'm sorry, we're the better fucking team. All the way across the board. Top six, miles better. Third line, better. 
Fourth line, we don't have a Taylor Hall, but we're also not dumb enough to put Taylor Hall on a fourth line. Defensively, extremely well balanced. And we got two goaltenders who are more than capable. Samson, I've had a rough outing last season. We hope that he turns it the fuck around because we could really use it. <sighs> All right. Boys. The time for the excuses has passed. We kept the band together. We're trusting in this lineup. We switched those lines back to the beginning of the season. They need to carry us. They need to push us past these teams here. We lost them last game of the regular season on the end of the back-to-back. -back. We don't care now. It's a new season. The playoffs. Game one. Home ice advantage here. Come on, Toronto. All right. Yervinen is down. Uh, who do I got for depth here? Oh, just a defenseman. Ah, shit. Um, we won an OT. 3-2. to two. I'll take it. Win's a win, baby. Good job. Now another one. Defend our own ice. Come on. Game two. 6-2 to two victory. All right. That's what I'm talking about. We're, we're keeping that puck out of the net, and we're finding our goals. On the road now. Into Boston for game three. 4-2 to two win. We have not allowed more than two goals. All right, finish him. Finish him. If you got your foot on the throat, step down harder. Shut out. Shut out. Fucking hell, Toronto. That's what I'm talking about. That's a statement. That is a statement right there in round one. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Done in fucking... I hate that stupid glitch, man. Tampa in round two. Okay, on the road. They won in seven. Austin Matt, we got what we fucking wanted, essentially, right there, I think. Let's see. Yep. Four goals, four 1.5 against, 30% on the power play, and penalty kill was high 80s. It's exactly what we want. I mean, we probably won't, we won't not sustainable, but still. It's exactly the fucking performance that we should be able to have in the playoffs and have not really found it consistently. There's Austin Matthews again leading the way. He's done this. This is the second year in a row he's doing this. But now he's got more support. Byfield point per game over. Nylander, Marner, Perfetti even at point per game. Leonov has never been a great playoff performer. He's kind of down here again. We'll see if he uh, pulls it together. Uh, the only person who doesn't have a point is Janelle. On the back end, almost everyone has a point. Just Hopkins without, but everyone's a plus. And there you go. Samsonov, 9 4 5 one, four, two. So it's just an every other year thing for Samsonov, I guess. <laughs> but here we are. Now it's Tampa, the best team in our division. Another test. Should this be a round two matchup? You can argue about that. But we're not the Leafs of old. We're not going to piss and moan about who we play in, in, a, in what round. Because you know what? You have to beat every single fucking team to win the ultimate prize. So we don't care. We don't care. We're past that. We have evolved. We got a better GM. We won't bitch and moan about that. Hagel, Point, Kucherov, first line. Balsers, Pavelski, Paul, second line. Whew, Lawton, Sorelli, Holmstrom, Pearson, Frederick, Bork. They are strong down the middle and decent wings, man. Good depth overall. You can see why this team did what they did in the regular season. Whew, we were looking at Balsers, but yeah, no wonder they didn't freaking trade that guy. 49 points. He's got four goals here in the postseason. Defensively, Hedman, Sergachev, Chernock, Haig, Semikin, and this guy. <laughs> they ran out of money. But Vasi, who hasn't done tremendously. Hopefully, we can get to him. 94 overall, Vasilevsky. And Jesus, they have no depth, man. Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> they're essentially mortgaged up to their eyeballs. Again, strong down the middle. So are we. We're strong everywhere, man. Now's the time. Now's the time, Toronto. We have to beat these teams no matter what. You got to beat every single team to be the champ. And that's the goal here. On the road against Tampa. Can we guarantee the split in the first game? Come on. Yes, we can. Overtime victory. It starts off the same way the last series did. 3-2 to two in OT. That's massive. We guaranteed the split on the road in the first game. Can we get two? Can we steal the other one? 
Oh. Samsonov goes down and is out till May 12th. Oh. Adversity. We got Gustafson. This is exactly why we have him. Call up Wool again. Fuck. That's rough, man. That is rough. All right. All right. Shit happens. Got to roll with it. We we won the game 5-0. Man got injured. Gustafson stepped in and continued to shut the door. We won both games on the road here. Home ice. New goaltender. Papa's got a brand new bag. Let's go. Keep it going. Game three. Just keep it going. All right. 4-1 to loss. Could not find the offense in that one. They respond. Okay, just don't lose the next one on home ice. Do not let them just crawl right back in this series, guys. Come on, game four. Defend our ice. We don't care. There you go. Woof. Ugh, I can't say Gustafson's having the easiest time in net, but you know what? Our offense, our offense rose to the occasion for him. Eight to four victory and a 3-1 series lead. It's up to you guys. Three chances. Do it in one. Do not even give them a chance here. You guys got to step it up. Gustafson, if you could have a solid game here, we'd love it. Actually, no, he's not back. It's going to be after the game. Come on, finish him. Yes, we finished him. Jamie Hopkins is out. Who the fuck? Oh, yeah, of course. That sucks, man. Another injury. It's a mob concussion. It's not that bad, but still. We've gotten a few of these. Don't worry about that minus. Let's see, there's Sam Sonov. Okay, Sam Sonov is back. Gustafson got the job done. Oh, we're not leaving him in there for any reason. He didn't do amazingly. So back on the bench you go. Sam Sonov gets to hop back in. Fully healed, who has been lights out. It's fucking perfect record. So missing Hopkins now does suck. Ain't gonna lie. Oh, uh, do I just leave Wall up here? <laughs> just in case. I mean, the other guy's starting, so. All right. We won in five. <laughs> Jesus. Eight and one in these playoffs here. And Columbus. Columbus. All right. We don't have to deal with fucking Carolina, but Columbus is here for a reason. They're eight and three. Eight and three Blue Jackets. But here we are. We advanced. Austin Matthews continuing. <laughs> Weirdly not getting the goals, but who the hell cares? He's leading the way as a captain should. 4-11, 2-11. Two-goal differential. Power play slipped. As did penalty kill. That kind of sucked. Okay, yeah. Special teams really slipped in that series. Okay. But again, we don't want to rely on special teams to get the job done. Matthews at 13 points. Marner, 11. Nylander, 10. Byfield point per game. Leonov, 6. Perfetti, 6. Yikes. Yeah, it really slipped off there in a lot of ways. Yeah. Less depth scoring in that one. But defense has done actually quite well. We got like, yeah, they're, they've they been doing really well. Sucks to have Hopkins out now. <laughs> Sam Sonov, though. So he got credit with that shutout. Was he injured after the game? I don't even know. But he got credit with the shutout, so, huh. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Columbus, they're uh, they're uh, they're obviously a playoff team built for the playoffs. Johnny Goodrow, Sillinger, Patrick Line, Voracek, Doc Nordqvist, Texier, Foodie, Jania, Koff, uh, Othman. J Damn, dude, again, strong down the middle. Jesus, yeah, this is a good team. <laughs> Roman Yossi in the top six. And Merzlikens, who's done phenomenally. And they got the franchise backup as well. Okay. This is a good team. They're very, very well balanced. Very well balanced. And they have tons of uh tons of like kind of like veteran guys spread out here along with some of their, you know, younger guys. Good draw at this point's veteran Voracek. Uh you think of Yossi yeah, and Estroza there too. I, they're definitely beatable, 100% they're beatable, but I'm just worried about where they have, like, two ways located and stuff. They got, like, one on every line. 
Yeah, it could be. They could be quite defensive here, but we should be able to beat any fucking team, man. You look at this; they're nowhere close to us. We have to be able to beat them. We gotta be able to beat these guys. So we're leaving the lines, man. We haven't had to touch them. We're not going to. Conference finals, Eastern Conference finals, Toronto. Home ice advantage against Columbus. We're the better team on paper. Now we got to do it on the ice. We can't can't get stumped by these guys. We've been doing so good against every goaltender, every all these combinations. Let's go. Game one. We get shut out. Fuck me. Game two. Hopkins is back. That's good. I don't know. If, I think that might be after game. We shut them out in return, 4-0. Trust in these lines. I, I had to hold my breath on that one, though. Not going to lie. It was a bit nerve-wracking to get shut out and then not make a change. But we even the series up one game apiece with a shutout of our own. Now onto the road. They get, they got the split. Now we got we to gotta try to do the same at least on their ice. Game three. Come on, Toronto. 5-2 to two victory, baby. Let's go. Big wins right there. Got the goals rolling. We got the defense locking it in. Game four. Game four. Who? Okay. It wasn't out. I don't know what happened because of the fucking stupid. Ah, we lost 6-3. They even it up. Damn. We couldn't keep the puck out of that, that one. Three goals is enough to win, but... Bad defensive display in that one. So it's an even series. Pivotal game five here. Pivotal game five. Come on, Toronto. Oh my God, man. We've been... Whew, we've been getting punished with these injuries. Really rough time. I'm going to throw Bluger in there for now. I'm, I'll maybe switch some stuff up. But uh, yeah. We won 3-2. to two. We won. We have a 3-2 series lead. <sighs> okay. Let me take a look here. God, Matthews is... Dude, now he's now he's stepped up in goals. He's got six goals in this series. Fuck me, dude. 12 points for Byfield. Perfetti in 85. What the... F oh, my God. Did he lose stack growth? Cool. Leon off seven. That's not great. Perfetti. Honestly. Hmm. <laughs> Thinking doing something like that? I don't know, though. Seven points there alone on that line. Honestly, I don't know. I don't. I kind of just want to sub him in straight up and think that these two guys could carry him. We used to do well with bunting in a situation like that. Obviously, Bluger's not bunting, but I think I think keeping things together is 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 what I want to do. Risky as it may be to have Bluger on that top line, man. I don't know. He'll provide a little bit of defense at least. Get in there on the forecheck. Matthews Nylander can do their thing. They still got Riley back there to play with. I think I'm just going to straight sub him. Now, Marner shouldn't be out for too long, like it said to the 30th, right? So, he might miss a game if we advance. And let's fucking advance. On the road, game six. A chance to advance to the Stanley Cup champ, Ian Ship. Come on, guys. Fuck. Blood's in the water. You guys sense that. I don't want to go into the goddamn tech sim right now. Let's go. Come on, Toronto. Fuck yeah, baby! 3-1 victory! Advance to the cup finals against Winnipeg. Now the question is, if Marner's back, do I throw him in? If Marner's back, do we throw him in partially injured? Bluger didn't do anything in that game. We didn't need him to. Marner is back. It's a risk. It's a, it's a risk, man. I don't know if I want to risk it. But... Yeah, I'll think about that. I'll think about it. We're facing Winnipeg in the Stanley Cup Finals here. 
Three, six, seven, two point two, twenty three, nine power play. Oof, penalty kill just keeps getting worse. Christ almighty. I feel like I have to change that. Because that ain't going to fix itself. All right, and our opponents, what are they doing? Whoo, three, four, three, two, one, four. Very kind of a mirror match here. Yeah, besides we have a better power play, this is essentially a mirror match. Wow. All right, what the hell are we doing? But honestly, like, if we go into the tech sim, I really want the PK to be almost what it is. Just because it's got so much fucking counterattack potential. <laughs> I know that's weird, but honestly, sometimes you never know what can happen in that tech sim. I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't know. I feel we've been doing fine with it. I'm like, I'm of the... It's like, I don't want to touch anything. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right call or not, but we'll see. If I need to fuck with stuff, like, at some point, I'll definitely be changing that when I change other stuff. Kyle Connor, Shifley, Duwa, first line. Max Jones, Monaghan, Bjorkstrand, second. Wood, Jost, Bo uh, Beauvillier. Damn it. <laughs> uh, ew. Can't. Jesus. They're, at least they're, like, very, they're very, very deep. The, maybe some of the top... Oh, yeah, they're super deep. Yeah, you can tell why they're here. Very, very deep. They're very similar to us on the defense, honestly. We're maybe slightly better, but they're very similarly built. And then they got hella suck, but he's uh doing good. Very good for them. All right. Again, you can see why they're here. That's a lot of two ways and shit and power fours and stuff. What's Kyle Connor now? Is he? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but again, similar to what we've played before. Yeah, they got a lot of defense everywhere, but we, I think we can match them. I think we can match these guys. Like, top end talent, you got to think we have the better of it. Once Marner comes back, that's even more so the case. Perfetti against his old team, though, man. And of course, Bovier against his old team and us. You know what I'm going to do, though? Let's do this. 100% going to do this. Remember bunting with uh, these guys. I'm going to put him over here where he was. Now, it was usually Matthews, Marner bunting, but we're going to do this for until until Marner comes back. Bunting is getting that top line time again. It's a bit of a throwback here, but I, I trust him. I trust him more than Bluger. So we're going to send Bluger back to third. He'll still do the remaining sum in the lines and shit, but yeah. All right. Stanley Cup Finals, they're 12-2, and two, we're 12-3. and three. Both of us have really kind of dominated our respective conferences. And now we meet on top of the mountain to duke it out. We come to blows here. Toronto, Stanley Cup Finals, we're here. We are here. Game one. Let's make a statement. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Ow. All right, well, at least... Okay, hold on. We got to be careful about this. Hold on. That fucking sucks. Okay, so Bluger was here. We got to do Marner back in on lines. Boom. And then Bluger will sub in. Ugh. For a second. God damn it. Please win this game. Please did we win this game. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go Bluger for now. Give me a sec. Okay. I don't know. We pff, we shut him out 5-0. Great statement game. We lose uh, Nylander to injury. He said somewhere around June. So maybe he comes back at, towards the end of the series. Fuck, man. We've, we've, we've been suffering through it, man. We really have. Please have Marner fully healed. There he is. Okay, good. Before the next game, Marner's fully healed. Let me check. The hell is going on with Nylander here? Turning June third, injured arm. Yeah. Okay. So June third, he will miss uh, potentially three games, maybe only two, but potentially three. We won the first game, which is massive. All right. Bluger right now is in. We're gonna do the same thing. 
Uh, this, but I have to fuck with this power play a little bit. I don't want Bluger here. So, who do we not have? Leonov, Perfetti, Rosovic, Bunting, Robertson. Yeah, we have the entire third line and a couple second liners. <laughs> I gotta double shift someone, but... Supposedly, this is why we got Bluger. Two games, one goal, plus one. We don't. That's the only thing. We don't have a ton of very offensively inclined defensemen. Like Sandian's okay. You could throw him in there. Guess we'll do that. I'll just make sure it doesn't fuck up my strategies. What? What the hell? Why does it keep doing this? It keeps fucking doing that every time like we have a change. It keeps fucking changing up my goddamn. Yeah, it keeps fucking doing that. Yeah, that's definitely something that happens when you sub in all lines and lose someone on that power play like when it when it's still it, it, something's weird about that cuz it does that every fucking time. It changes to Riley. All right, well whatever. We got that back to the way it should be now. All right. All right. Well, Marner's back. The yeah, unfortunate part now is Nylan... Hold, hold on, hold on. Did I put Bunting on the top line? Because I meant to. Uh, the unfortunate part now... Yes, he is. Okay. M Bunting, Matthews, Marner. Back to that. Bluger third line. The important thing now is to push through. Nylander's out, but we got to push through. Keeping that second line together. We had one 5 to nothing in the first game. Nylander was out for injury. Let's play for him here in game two. Let's have another big, big night on our own ice. Come on, Toronto. Six to one, baby! That's what I'm fucking talking about! You're goddamn right! Winnipeg's got nothing! Absolutely nothing! Two games to none! Hell yeah! Just go into their building, do the same thing. Fucking three to two! On the road! And Toronto is one win! One win away. Does Nylander get back on the ice for it? He does! He does! He absolutely does. Subbing all lines. Back up there. How'd Bunting... I can't really... Couldn't really tell. Doesn't matter. We won. We won the games. We won the games. There we are. Okay. Cup's in the building. Cup is in the building on the road. Uh, we. This should be our cup. This should. This is our cup. Plain to say, I'm not even gonna say should be. This is our cup. Go out there and fucking earn the rest of it. All right, Toronto, let's go. No excuses. Do it. Come on, boys. Power play to start things off here in the first long one. Oh my god, it's a long one. We can't capitalize, but we're getting some shots here. Winnipeg starting to come back towards the end of the first. We got another power play. Failing to capitalize. That couldn't come back to bite us. That could indeed come back to bite us after one. No goals. Eight shots to four. Kind of defensive for a lot of it. All right. Second period. Come on, Toronto. Uh-oh. Big kill right there. 15-minute mark. Someone's got to open up the scoring, and it's Leonov, baby. one nothing on Hellebuck. Great big goal right there. Morgan Riley makes it 2 nothing. We have a power play. Can we put the... Oh, man. That would have been a huge, huge goal right there. We still have two, though. Uh, Monaghan gets one back on the power play. Cuts that lead in half. 2-1 to one at the end of the second. Very defensive game. 16 shots to 11. Look at that shit. After two, man. We are playing out of our minds defensively. But we need one more period of that. Toronto... 20 more minutes of this. Come on. Let's go. 
15 minute mark there, step one, and Shifley gets a power play goal, our penalty kill crumbles under the pressure, and Kyle Connor turns things around, makes it 3-2, to two, and all of a sudden, Toronto, the world's been turned on their head, Matthews, the captain, huge power play goal, huge power play goal, another one, Rosovic, Rosovic, quick turnarounds, will that be enough? It will! The Toronto Maple Leafs are your Stanley Cup champions! We've done it. We have done it. The Toronto Maple Leafs on the road have swept their way to a Stanley Cup championship. The curse is over. It has been lifted. That was a quick selly, I guess. Handshake line. I don't know. This is all new, right? Supposedly. A lot of it looks the... Jesus, this is quick. Con Smythe winner, Austin Matthews. Um, <laughs> did very, very good. Oh, look at that mustache. What a man. Look at that hairline. They did him, they did him justice. Uh, <laughs> this goes really quick now. All right. And the Stanley Cup presentation. I mean, Jesus, what a road that was. We absolutely fucking dominated our way to that. Didn't change a thing at the deadline. Trusted the team. Went back to the lines we started with that we are so dominant with that, you know, I may have, uh, you know, gone away from too early. Hey, we got confetti at least, baby. Fucking worth. Worth. Worth all the issues. Oh, my God. Fireworks. Fuck all the cha Everything that's bad doesn't matter, boys. Look at the confetti and the fireworks. Oh, Austin Matthews lifts the cup above his head. And they got Leafs blue confetti falling from the ceiling of Winnipeg's arena. Oh, you get to choose! Okay, who's he handed off to? Oh, that's a tough one. You know who he hands it off to. You know exactly who he hands it off to. Nicholas! I'm oh, just kidding. Um. Oh, shit. It actually times you. Goes to Marner. You're damn right. Matthews to Marner. Let's go. These two been at it. One of the greatest duos. They, we've never had them separated. <laughs> I don't think. At, I mean, maybe at times, but you don't separate these two. All right, we get to choose. Going to Nylander. We're gonna do. We're gonna do that line. All the old, all the OG Leafs get that cup first. Poor Riley. <laughs> Poor Riley. I mean, how many times you get to pass it though? That's what I want to know. Nylander gets the cup, baby. Oh, you know, yeah. You know who it's? Oh, is it gonna stop it now? Because that looks like the old circle around animation before it stops. No, we still get to go, baby. What the fuck? Wait. What? I, I can't... I can't choose Riley? <laughs> Last choice! Fuck you, Riley! <laughs> oh, shit. Over to Ilya Samsonov, the goalie who definitely, definitely deserves it. Morgan Riley's chopped liver. Game doesn't even recognize him. Get fucked. <laughs> Jesus. So even a good thing isn't actually that good. Where is Morgan Riley? I don't even see the guy. I wonder if he got injured or something. Uh, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. Cup champion Toronto Maple Leafs. There we are. The curse is over. Fuck your 1967 jokes. We are the kings. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. Gonna show our names on it and shit. Let's go. Is it gonna is it gonna put Morgan Riley's name on there actually? Hey, look at that. Let's see. Austin Matthews, captain. Uh, doesn't have any of the alternates. Mitchell Marner, Neil. I guess it doesn't do that. Perfetti, Morgan Riley. Okay, there we go. Joseph Wall. <laughs> That's Joseph Wall in there because we didn't send him back down. There you go, bud. Oh, shit. Good shit. I like it. GG's, boys. We are the fucking champs.